In 1994, Blackstone Brewery put Nashville's craft beer movement on the map and went on to build a state-of-the-art brewing facility. Jackalope is our new counterpart that's the brainchild of two women from New England. Both breweries herald respect and are contributing to our promising craft beer scene. I'm Heidi Jewell and this is You Ought to Know Nashville. Blackstone has established themselves as a staple in the craft beer scene, and we're going to go find out why at their microbrewery and West End Brew Pub. We had, had gotten into the craft beer movement, and we, we really felt like we wanted to bring craft beer to Nashville. And so we kind of combined our talents and, um, and worked on the project. Um, and, and in 1994, we, we were um, fortunate enough to be able to open uh, the brew pub uh, over on West End. I would classify us as a traditional brewery. Beer comes from a very long history. Um, many hundreds of years styles have been developed. So when I say we're a traditional, we tend to try to replicate those styles that have been developed over hundreds of years. What we're finding in the craft beer business is at least with respect to regional sized breweries, we're starting to do things the way the big boys have done them over the years. And that is that when you can automate and computerize parts of the process, you do that. Uh, because what it does is it frees up your talented people to put in parts of the facility that you can't automate, that just that you'll never be able to automate. The second component of our operation is the bottling line. And really the heart of it is the machine that actually puts the beer in the bottle. It's a very high-tech piece of equipment because we want less than 100 parts per billion in the bottle. And that's from, from all the way over in the cellar to all the way over once it gets into the bottle, we need to limit the amount of air that's in there. And that is very important that your bottling machine does not add air to the process. And that's, that's really the heart of our, of our operation. Back when we were doing research and going around uh, and we would go to a place and we'd want to taste their metal winning beer and it, they didn't have it on tap. So it's very frustrating for us. So we kind of decided that, that we were going to focus on the beers that we brew every day and make those as good as we possibly could. And it, it, you know, we have been very fortunate and, and have, have been able to win some medals. But for 20 years, you've been able to get a medal winning beer at our facility. New craft breweries are starting to pop up all over town, and Jackalope, right here on 8th Avenue, is proving why that frothy concept is so popular. I started home brewing and quickly realized that that was better than practicing law. <laughs> and um, kind of when was making the decision about you know going home where there's a really established uh, brewing culture versus um, staying down here to start it and um, you know be a part of a culture of creating a culture and so that was kind of what we decided to go with. So we do like two sort of different things. We do three year-round beers, um, soon to be four, but our three right now are um, Thunder Ann and American Pale Ale, Rompo, which is a red rye, and a Bear Walker, Maple Brown. Um, so those three are here all the time, and then we do a rotating program with the new styles that come in. So we do about 10 beers a year with that program. Behind the scenes, you know, we brew we just doubled our brewing capacity, uh, so we brew an average of about five times a week right now, but we do most of that um, over the course of like 36 hours. We'll just start brewing and keep brewing. I mean, we hope to be uh, throughout Tennessee. Um, we keep trying to get into other cities, but more great bars and restaurants keep opening up in Nashville, so you need to have your beer in there first. Um, and then maybe in a few bordering states. For us, it was we were surprised about how much attention we got so fast, like people were really interested in what we were doing, um, and it is such a supportive community. Um, I think one of the things that's funny is an article came out that was like, you know, old favorites, Yazoo and Jackalope, and we're like, we're an old favorite now? <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think we're still new? Yeah. No? <laughs> but, you know, I, I love how this town is so focused on local and, and supporting the kind of creative types here. 